So uh, welcome to everyone. And um, documenting the historical relationship between parasites uh, like this one and uh, sea level rise is fundamental to forecast the concerning possibility of an increase in parasite activity due to global warming and the sea level rise in the next future. What we do is, um, in my PhD, is to start the uh, study the Holocene sedimentary succession beneath Ravenna coastal plain that records about uh, 11,000 years of uh, continuous sea level variation after the deglaciation of the ice cap at the end of the last ice age 19,000 years ago. This sedimentary package is characterized by eight main sedimentary packages uh, that uh, are bounded by the so-called flooding surfaces. And these surfaces are very important in geology and the reconstruction of the past because they allow to recognize a sudden increase in water depth over centennial to millennial time scale. So what I do here is study uh, 2,000 Bibles like this and searching for these particular traces that you can see here that are called pits. These pits are essentially the mal malformation that are actively induced by the parasites on the inner part of the Bible shells and are preserved in the fossil record. So we, I study the fossils and uh, essentially I uh, use these uh, traces for reconstruct the past parasite abundances that are called prevalence. In my case, the prevalence ranges from 6% to 70% along this succession, and um, showing also a strong temporal variation, as you can see here. Uh, in fact, they fall outside the 95% confidence bound here marked by the gray area. Moreover, you can see here these red dots that always coincide with the flooding surfaces, these three flooding surfaces. That means that the, there is a, a repeated association between an increase in parasite activity and uh, an increase in sea level rise. These results are very important because uh, for the first time we can uh, uh, think about the future and see that if in the past there is a strong association like this, we can have a, a renewed surges in parasite activity in the future due to global warming and sea level rise. And thus can we have uh, um, severe damages on uh, our ecosystem, our ecosystem, coastal ecosystems, and uh, reducing the lifespan and uh, the reproduction ability of uh, marine organisms with damages also on human activities on the coastal area. And this is my PhD. Mm -hmm.